Hey guys, it's Devil's Core and this is the long overdue Mac overview and tutorial that I promised you. This is my compact blowback uh, yeah, full auto submachine gun or whatever you want to call it. Um, take the barrel off, front grip. stock, well the stock you can take off this thing, push out the pin, pull it out, comes right off. I may go over the stock later if you are inter interested in that. This is the gun to open, you pull out charging handle. This can stay on here. Shoot. Give me one sec. You can take a pin and push out each of those connector points. And that's it. And you can gently lift it off. There you have the internals. This is the part where your rubber bands are stored on. You load them um, in about five notches a distance. So you load one here and one about there and then you rotate and you can load again. The trigger is very simple. trigger that keeps the bolt or bolt from rotating. If you pull it, the bolt can rotate. The bolt is connected with a small with a weak rubber band. And due to the gears, the rubber bands are loaded on. This triangular piece will push on the bolt while it's forward, but not block its movement. When the bolt moves back, the part can rotate, release another rubber band that gets loaded, and the bolt goes forward again. Until the rubber band fires, then it goes back. The higher the weight of the bolt, the lower the rate of fire. You can see I greased it because it wasn't working that well before. Now it works really smooth. This is the part where your pull panel connects to. You can take it off, just like this. Good. This is just your weight. And this is the bolt. Take a close look. You can rebuild it. The gears, the smaller gear, this triangle piece goes into this slot. The bigger, the bigger one goes fitting next to it. The barrel is just connected here and has this ramp so the rubber bands can easily unload from the bolt. The grip is very simple. The rubber band is connected here for the trigger. Else it's just 3, 3M of distance and the front side is one stud longer. And that's basically all that is to it. I will reassemble it now, so you may reference it when you're building together yours. Oh, 
Okay, this is the fourth time I'm reassembling this part because my camera ran off out of memory space. But fuck it. This rubber band goes around here, wraps around, it connects onto that pack. Make sure your bolt goes up with this line so you have it perfectly placed. And it works. For your trigger, Take this rubber band around and make sure it goes over this part between those two notches. You can place it in. And you just have to connect your last part of the shell. Slide into each other. Have three notches. And this piece hooks in. And it just connects here and secures with the pin. Like that. <laughs> 